Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty and today we are going through Sephora recommendations. So the way that I did this, this is gonna be a very comprehensive list and I wanna start off by saying that, you know, I think this video should be useful for people who are not shopping the Sephora sale as well. The Sephora sale, I'll have the dates here on the screen, but you get 10% off for insiders, 15% for VIB, and 20% for Rouge. You can often get better deals than what you're getting from Sephora at other places. For example, sometimes the department stores and so forth, or directly from the brand. So we'll talk about those as they come up, but this is kind of a list of things that I recommend that are sold at Sephora. So I know sometimes people in other countries, you're not gonna have access to the same sales and deals that we have. However, you know, the, hopefully this is still helpful for the products that I would recommend from those particular brands as they are carried at Sephora USA. So I wanna start off by showing you my Shop My page. So this is what I get if I go to Shop My, I'll have that on the screen, but I created a guide here in uh, the Shop My page and this is the Sephora recommendations list and here I have all of the links to everything I'm gonna be talking about here. So you can click that and go directly to those products. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be going through this alphabetically by brand. Now, when you're looking at my list of recommendations, there are a few things that you'll note say wish list. Those are things that I may purchase during the sale. I'm still kind of thinking about it, but if it says wish list on it is something that I have not personally tried before, but would like to. Everything else that does not say wish list means that I have at least tried that formula, perhaps not that exact shade, but I have tried that and have experience with the product and like the product. So we're gonna start off with Alpine Beauty. So I recently picked this up and I have this in my haul video. I just wanted to show you what the texture of this looks like. So this is their Willow and Sweet Agave Plumping Lip Mask. And you can see here that when you pull it up, it actually looks a little milky in texture. And it is going to be, you know, it's your traditional dewy lip mask kind of texture, but there's a little extra firmness in this compared to uh, some other uh, lip masks, just because I feel like it uses some of the more natural ingredients. So right now here, my home is kind of chilly, so things are a little bit firmer. So I think, you know, texturally, if you're in a colder room, it's gonna be a little bit more firm and it just kind of warms up. So I've been wearing this. You can see that you get this nice glossy shine. There's a very faint touch of this like warm rosy pink shade. And I really like this. I think this is a really nice lip mask. It's very comfortable and it does last on me all night. So if I go to sleep with this on, I definitely still feel it on my lips. And it has gotten my lips to the point where, you know when your lips are starting to get a little bit dry, but they're not quite at the point of exfoliation yet. This kind of like speeds that up a little bit. It plumps and rejuvenates everything so it's easier to exfoliate your lips. So this is something that I would recommend. You know, I think it's a really nice lip mask. If you're in the market for one, it's definitely worth looking at. And because I liked that product so much, on my wish list, I have another product from Alpine Beauty, and this is actually a cold cream cleanser. So if you look at the reviews on Sephora, and I know not all of the Sephora reviews are always accurate, uh, but they are phenomenal, you know? So I would like to try this. It looks fairly priced, and I think it looks like a really nice cold cream cleanser. So definitely wanna test that out. Next up, we're taking a look at the Armani Lip Maestros. So there is a lipstick trio for the holidays, and I think that actually looks like a very good deal if you do not already have those shades. But individually, I do have two of these. So I have 109 and 532. I believe one of these is in the set. I believe this one here. But this is just a nice matte lipstick, liquid lipstick. This one in particular, this one has glow in it. I think it's the shade label glow in the set. And then this one here is 109 which is more of a peachy nude shade. And these are just a really nice kind of a classic formula. Moving on, we have the Armani Lip Power Lipsticks. These are some of my favorite lipsticks. I think they are a formula that's very underrated. This one here is 106. I have been featuring some of these shades in my lipstick videos, uh, the favorites. 
So definitely check these out. These are gonna be a nice satin lipstick. They're not overly shiny and they're not matte. They're very comfortable and they have a good lasting performance. And I have to say, I love this teardrop shape applicator. It just makes application really easy. And I think this shape is really nice. So there's actually a duo of these, which is a better deal than buying them individually if you like the colors. I do have one of the shades in there, so the lighter shade, so I won't be picking that one up, but I do think it's a really nice way to try these out. And then we have the Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Blushes. So we have the Armani Neo Nude. These are, this one's my favorite. I actually only have a couple of these, but they're really cool because it's kind of, it feels like it might be firm. It just feels like smooth silicone really you know so it's like that dry slippery feeling but it dries to more of a powdery texture and it's just the longevity on these is fantastic really cool they've got some really nice shades this one here is 50 cool mauve this one's my favorite but you know every time these things sell out in the shades that i want so i might pick up another shade during the sale if it's available when i make my purchases next on the list this is one of my favorite brush cleaners we have the beauty blender this is the blender cleanser solid pro it's the charcoal black solid soap I really like this one. I always keep this on hand and to clean my makeup brushes, if they are really dirty, I swirl them in this soap. If they are a very delicate brush, I typically go with a mix of Dr. Bronner's and water in a foaming soap dispenser. So it's actually not that soapy then. I use about one third or one fourth soap to water. And uh, yeah, in the foaming dispenser, you're actually not getting too much. So those are the two products I use to clean my brushes or I'll mix those together. But I always use this one. Like this is fantastic and it really works on like the dirtiest of brushes. Next, we have a few things from Biosance and I have not tried everything from Biosance, but out of the things I have tried, the standouts for me were the Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. I've talked about this since my channel has started. I always keep one to two jars of this on hand. It's just a really great basic moisturizer and you know, it's particularly during the winter, it works really well if my skin gets out of balance or something, I load up on this. If I'm having a lot of sensitivity or something, I use this in place of something that might have any actives or anything like that. And it, it just seems very gentle on my skin, works really well. And when my husband has dry skin, I make him use this one too. And then we have the cleansing oil which I use, I go through bottles and bottles of this every year, but this is how I clean the swatches off my arms and so forth. So I've used this on my face. It works fine on the face, but I do feel like I like other cleansers better for my face, but I love this one in particular for cleaning off swatches because it's really effective. So that's on my list. I also have the mineral sunscreen on there because it's SPF 30, which I prefer to go 50 or above, but I think it performs really well, works really well with makeup. So I have gone through an entire large tube of this and I really liked this one. So if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen, I think this is a nice option. Next, we have the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks and these were reformulated this year. There is a mini trio for the holidays. I think if you haven't tried those, that's a great way to get them. This one here is the shade Mica, which is one of my favorites. It's kind of a taupey champagne. And I just really like these. These are currently my favorite shadow sticks. And yeah, you know, like I still love my Sisley shadow sticks, but these and the Bobbi Brown, those are, those are my two favorites. So I would definitely recommend that. I also recommended the Bobbi Brown Luxe lipsticks. So again, this is a new formula this year and I really like those. I do have a full review on those. So definitely check that out. But I think that's a really nice, you know, traditional lipstick and it just performs well. They've got nice colors. The shades run warmer than what they look like online for the most part. I do feel like their online photos are terrible. So if you can, check those shades in store or definitely check out a bunch of videos with swatches. Couple more things from Bobbi Brown. We have the new full cover concealer and this is the mini size, but they do sell it in full size as well. I have the shade Porcelain and this is one of my favorite new concealers. I really like this one. I've been using it a lot. It's actually probably half empty at this point but I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for something, it's more like upper medium coverage. It's not completely full coverage because if you have really deep circles, you're still gonna be able to see that without a corrector and so forth layered with that. 
And moving on, we also have the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Lip Glosses. I think those are just a nice classic. I might pick up that Cure Sugar uh, shade that is there. I mean, I believe that came out as part of the holiday collection, but uh, it looks really beautiful. So I'm, I've got that on my wish list. And the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Quartz Glow. So here's Quartz Glow. This is actually one of my favorite highlighters of this year. And you can see it's gonna be a soft gold shade. A little bit of champagne in there. It's not overly yellow, but it is going to be a soft gold highlight. And I just think it is stunning. The formula is great. I mean, look at that sheen. And it's just one that I reach for all the time. So I would definitely recommend that. They have a ton of other shades too, if you don't like that particular shade. Next from Biogeo, we have the Scalp Revival Scalp Soothing Solution Set. I just think this is a really great deal. I use these products. I have psoriasis, which mainly affects my hairline. And this is one of the things that I use like once a week or so to kind of help, you know, cleanse that area and so forth. So anyway, I think it's a really good deal to get this 20% off and you're already getting value getting it as a set versus individually. We also have a couple items from Bumble and Bumble. We have the Repair Blow Dry. This is kind of a lightweight cream serum type texture. And I've been using this one for a long time. It is actually still my favorite from the Bumble and Bumble line. And it's just a really great lightweight thing. It doesn't do anything to the texture in my hair. You know, I don't feel product in it when I put this in. And then when I blow dry, it does help with some of the flyaways and so forth. But I've also been using the Bumble and Bumble Bond Building Repair Styling Cream in the Gold Tube. And this is gonna be a thicker consistency. You don't need a whole lot of this. If you use too much of it, I do feel like the thicker texture can be a little bit harder to smooth out. So, you know, start small, build up. But I think this is a really nice product too. And I'll use this like sometimes just if I'm letting my hair air dry and so forth. It's nice. I like this one. I still do prefer the other one more so if you are using it for a hair dryer but I think they're both great products. Moving on, we have a few products from Charlotte Tilbury. And you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Charlotte Tilbury line. There have been a lot of hits and misses for me. And I just wanted to highlight the products that I really love from Charlotte Tilbury. So we're not gonna look at each of them right now, uh, like swatches and so forth, but let's take a look at the actual items. This here is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I think this is a really nice foundation. I was shade matched with shade 3N. I do feel like it's a little dark, so I think I would look for something a little bit lighter if I were to purchase it again, but I think it's a really great foundation. I also really like the Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadows, particularly in the shade Oyster. So uh, yeah, or Oyster Pearl. So I really, I love her cream shadows. I think those are great. I have not tried the mad ones. <laughs> the reviews on those are terrible, so I did not try those. And then I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Dream Pop Mascara all fall. So since late summer when that came out, it's kind of this reddish brown shade. Really like that one. I love the color of it. The formula has performed really well. So I would definitely recommend the Dream Pop shade. If you're going for plain black, there are other formulas I prefer, but because of the color, I think the Dream Pop makes it really special. And then we still don't have these here in the US on the Sephora site, but the Canadian site does. And these are the Pop Shots shades. This one here is the Emerald Eyes, which is exclusive to the Charlotte Tilbury website. But there are other shades and I believe different places do have different shades available. But this one here is Cosmic Rocks, which is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at that shift. And I just really like these. I think they're great, they're cute, and like the packaging, love the colors. And there are a variety of different textures and finishes. Again, I have a whole video on those if you are interested in more details. But those are gonna be my favorite things from Charlotte Tilbury. Christoph Robin is one of my favorite hair care brands. I think they do hair masks really well. One of my favorites is the one with the sea salt. It's the cleansing purify purifying scrub with sea salt feels really grainy, but as you start working it in with some water, all of those like grainy salt textures basically melt or dissolve and it really cleans my hair well. So I can get an extra day without having to wash when I use that. Now the regenerating mask with prickly pear seed oil, I have this on my list every single time. This is my conditioner. It's my favorite conditioner. I use this 
you know, almost every time I wash my hair, other times I'm, you know, I use the K18 hair mask also on my hair. So you don't use conditioner if you're using that mask. But uh, that's my go-to conditioner. I really, really like it. I comb it through my hair in the shower, let it sit for a minute, rinse out, and my hair feels great. And I've also been using the uh, purifying hair mask with thermal mud, which I like, but if you had to pick between that and the sea salt, I'd go with the sea salt. I also have a ton of Danessa Myricks products on here. We're going to go through these quickly because I don't want this video to be super long. And as you can see, if you've gone to my shop list, you'll see that we definitely have a lot of products to go through, but we have the new Danessa Myricks palette. So this is the new Transcendence palette, Lightwork 4. This is incredible. I do have a reel on this. We're just gonna swatch a couple of these shades. These two are from the top row here. And I mean, it's just incredible. In the middle, she has like water crumbs. So they're water activated. You actually like, look at this. Like you're not really getting up a whole lot of, oh, that's actually not one of them. Sorry. This is like a powder version of the um, chrome flakes. But look, this is a water activated one. I can press and press and press. Nothing's coming up until I add water. It's really cool. So some other items from her that I recommended, um, I have the Balm Contour in Fair One. I think that's a really nice alternative to the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Shades. So, you know, if you're looking for a less expensive alternative, that's a good one. The Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder is incredible. I have two of those and it has a little spatula at the front. You've got this. You need the least amount of product you could possibly think of. I mean, if seriously, tiniest, tiniest bit, and it's gonna like mattify, make your skin look like blurred and perfect. I like to use that under foundation. I think it's incredible. We also have the Infinite Chrome Flakes if you're looking for lots of bright colors. The Lightwork Palette 3, I have her Chrome Liners on here. Now, I really love the colors and the effects of these, but you know, as they get older, they will kind of crumble a little bit um, and break. So just so you know, like, Get, get a shade that, you know, is special because of the color. But if you're going for like regular colors, which they don't really have in this particular one, but it's not a formula that I would love if it were like your traditional black and brown. But because of the colors, these are like really awesome. Moving on to Dior. We've got quite a few items from Dior. I definitely would recommend the Mini Rouge lipstick set if you are looking to try some new shades. Definitely check though, those are like their classic shades in there. So definitely check and see whether you already have some of those. Um, but I think it's a really great way to try some of their different finishes. I also really like the Rouge Forever Transfer Proof Lipsticks. Those are not refillable by the way, but I think they perform really well. They can be a little bit drying if you wear them day after day, but not like in the span of a day. So if you put it on today and you wear a satin the next day, you're I don't have any dryness issues or any particular issue. But however, if I wore every day for a week, my lips would feel kind of dry. The new Dior cases are also available at Sephora. So I would definitely recommend those. They're great for gifts as well. And the Dior eyeshadow palettes, they've added a couple of shades that have been out of stock for a while at Sephora, like Black Bow and Jungle, which are two of my favorites. I also really love Tutu and Soft Cashmere. And Tutu, by the way, is very, very similar to the new Tom Ford Violet Satine. So really great. I think the Dior Backstage uh, Flash Perfector Concealer, which came out this year, I think that's a nice product. Uh, it's really nice for its price point. It's not gonna be a favorite concealer of mine, but if you're trying to stay under a certain like dollar amount for a concealer, I think this is $28. I'd have to double check that. But you know, I think it works really well for that. And I like the little brush. So along with the Dior Attic cases, of course, the Dior Attic lipsticks. I personally really like them. They have more of that glossy, balmy kind of texture to them. I have a video with a ton of shades of those. I really like them and you can purchase refills or if you purchase the full thing, it'll come with a black case instead. Same thing with the Dior Rouge Dior lipsticks. They have different finishes for those. I like their velvet finish and their satin finish. I'm not a fan of their matte finish. I do find the matte one to be drying, whereas for some reason the velvet is not as drying. So a little interesting there, but I do really like the Dior Rouge Dior lipsticks as well. Those are refillable and you can buy refills also. 
and the Dior Rouge Dior lip balms. They've got satin and matte lip balms. Those are really nice. Nice to get like a light bit of color and so forth as well. And then we also have the Dior Powder Compact. And I use this one a lot. The shade, I have one and a half N. They do run a little yellow as Dior has been known to do with their foundations. So it's not perfect, but it's good enough. I do really like it. Now I also put the Dr. Laura Dove Gam Platinum Lip Plump SPF 30 on there. I purchased that, it's in my haul, but they gave me one that's expiring in a couple weeks. So I keep, I, I'm intending on taking that back to the store to exchange it for a newer one. But based on the reviews, I think it looks really good. And of course I would recommend Dyson. So the Dyson Airwrap, that's how I do my hair every day. So I have the Dyson hair dryer and the Airwrap and I really like them. They have a whole bunch of different products and accessories for those if you're interested. Moving on, Evian spray water. I don't like setting sprays. I don't like how they can feel a little tacky or sticky or I can feel them on my skin or if they get in my hair, how that makes my hair feel. So when I do wanna use something, cause I, maybe my face looks a little powdery or something, I use the Evian spray water. And I personally like the little trio set of the smaller bottles because if you don't use it all the time, uh, once you've gotten through on the large bottle, after you've gone through for a while, uh, some of the minerals can kind of build up in the nozzle and it makes it really hard to get that nice fine mist. So I prefer using the smaller bottles because you're going to, uh, you know, keep the nozzle, the nozzle stay clean the whole time you're using that. Moving on to Givenchy. And I have to say, I'm really excited about this set. I wish I didn't have some of these shades already so I could buy this, but this Givenchy Mini La Rouge Couture lipstick set looks incredible. So you have two of the sheer velvets, which I love, um, but you have two of the brand new formula of their satin matte lipsticks. And I, you know, they have the shade in the holiday, the deep shade in the holiday collection here, which I also have on the list separately. This one here is 338. It's gorgeous. But you can get some different shades in this holiday lip kit. And that's really great because the, these lipsticks have actually launched elsewhere. But in the U.S., they're not going to be coming out here until 2023. There ha they have been delayed here. So if you want to try the new formula, this holiday set is the way to go. I would also highly recommend the Givenchy Prism Libra powders. I love this new limited edition one in Lumiere Polaire. The colors on here are fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, but you know, they've got a bunch of great shades in the permanent line as well. So definitely check th those out. But this is like my favorite setting powder. I think it's just classic for a reason. And of course, I've also recommended the Givenchy Sheer Velvets in the permanent line, as well as the one in the holiday, which by the way, the holiday version is going to be one that is in the permanent line as well. So just pick which case you prefer. And the deep velvets and the lip balms. Those are all things I absolutely love. Givenchy lip products are some of the best out there in my opinion, and they're very underrated. I also love their liquid lip balms, which are really more of a gloss. So those are really comfortable. The Givenchy lip liners I think are fantastic as well. I plan on picking up another shade or two in this lip liner, but I wear shade number eight almost every day. So it's that pinky nude shade and it is in my sharpening pile or I would swatch that, but it's uh, out, of, out of hand at the moment. We also have the Givenchy lip balm, which I'm not even sure why it is, but I absolutely love this lip balm. I've gone through several tubes of this since it's launched. Really love it, love the white case on it, and it's thin, doesn't feel that different from the Dior when you put it on, but for me, uh, it's more hydrating than the Dior, and it just works better on my lips. Can use this overnight if I want, and I'll still have a little bit left in the morning, or it's usually the one that I put on in the morning after I brush my teeth, so. The Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Glow Foundation. I like this version and the matte. I personally love to mix those together. I'm wearing the glow version today and I think it's really great. Uh, we also have the Mr. Brow Groom, which is a classic product. It was kind of out of stock for a while. I think they had some supply issues, but it's my favorite like clear brow uh, product. Moving on to the Gucci blushes. I mean, you really can't go wrong. This formula is great. 
you know, pick a color that you love, try them out. But they are this beautiful, like I've got the shade number six on right now, but it's the berry shade. But they're just like this beautiful blurring powder formula, really gorgeous. There's a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not a, like a flat matte, but they're just fantastic formula, great packaging. And then I also recently picked up this bomb so this is the universal bomb and i picked it up specifically for like a lip balm purpose and i've only used this a little bit so far i just featured this in my haul video but this is actually better as a multi-purpose bomb and somebody actually suggested this to me as well in the haul video but keep this in your purse and you can you know you got some flyaways or something you get you got a little bomb on your fingers run that through your hair need a little bit of lip balm add that on so it's a great multi-purpose bomb if you're using it specifically for lip balm, I think there are better lip balms out there, but it's really great for just having on hand for any little needs that you might have. And of course the packaging is really cute. Moving on, we have the Rouge de Beauté lipstick. I personally do not love those formulas. However, the one in this gorgeous floral packaging here, this is the Men Argentina. This came out with the eyeshadow palette this year. I love this particular one. I've been using this a ton. I love the color. It's just a beautiful peachy shade. I think it's in my purse right now, actually. So I would definitely recommend that one. But overall, that formula, I feel like um, some of the shades can be a little patchy. There's not a ton of product there, you know. So I, I don't feel like I get my the value uh, unless you absolutely love the shade. So that's my, my thoughts on that formula. The Gucci bronzer is still my number one. It's really pretty much the only bronzer I reach for. I'll occasionally reach for a different one, but the Gucci is really the only one that I truly use. I also like the Gucci nail polishes. I think those are a really nice luxury nail polish. Still, personally, I prefer, you know, things like this. This is an, I, I think this one's an ILNP nail polish, um, but, I like the indie brands better. I think, you know, the formulas are great and you've got a wider color selection. You, of course, got sparkly things like this as well. But for luxury, I do think the Gucci ones are really nice. I love the new Gucci eyeshadow palette that came out this year. I think it's better than the first one. I love the colors. So that is definitely a win for me. And then I really like these Gucci liquid lipsticks as well. So this one here is the Men Argentina. And I think these are just a really nice matte one. Actually, between these and the Armani, I prefer the Gucci. Um, but yeah, I think they're both great. However, the Gucci does have some fragrance. Gucci brow pencil, it's a powder brow pencil. I love that. I also love the Givenchy version, which is not on Sephora anymore. So we're gonna skip over that. But I think that's a really great one as well. And now we're into Guerlain. I mean, how can you say no to one of these <laughs> lipstick cases? They are so beautiful. This is the Blue Morpho Butterfly case. I love it. It is available at Sephora right now, and I'm really enjoying all of the Rouge G lipsticks that have come out recently. The Velvets. This is one of the Velvet Metallics. This one here is shade 880, and let's just build that up a little bit. You can see one layer that's a little bit sheer and one that's built up a bit more. You can see these are gonna be matte with a little bit of metallic, but they're not overly metallic, yet they have enough of a metallic finish that you can see that they are metallic. So I think they are really a great lipstick. I love the satins as well. And the 08 satin shade that came out for holiday, I wear that almost every day. So it's definitely a favorite. We also have the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Bee Glow Lip Balms. You can see we have a little bee on there, whereas the Kiss Kiss Shine Blooms have the Guerlain logo, but otherwise the cases are the same. This lavender lip balm I wear all the time. I'm halfway through it. I really like it, so that I would totally recommend. I wear that one a ton, so that's downstairs in my purse, but this one here is Rose Glow. I'll put this on this side here. And you can see it's gonna give you a soft pink. It takes a minute, it develops a little bit more, um, but really beautiful, I love the formulas. And then, and then this is one of my favorite shine blooms. This is 229 Petal Blush. And I just really love this shade here. It's a really pretty soft rosewood. It's a little cooler in tone than your typical rosewood. 
And of course the Guerlain meteorites, I think they're always great, but I have heard a rumor, one of you actually passed this on to me though, that they might be reformulating these right now and they've been hard to find. So if you're interested in these before the reformulation, you might wanna check them out while they are available at Sephora and they have most of the shades at this moment. The new Guerlain eyeshadow quads, I like these. I don't think they are the best formula that has come out. Um, so I like them. I think they're good. I would get them on sale. They're not a palette that, unless I absolutely love the color story, I wouldn't pay full price for them because I, I think they're beautiful. I think the formula is great. I think it's different and unique, which is great, but I do have creasing with these. So for me, I don't typically have creasing as an issue. So that you know, kind of makes them drop a few points in my book. So I think they're great and I would recommend them on sale. We also have one of my favorite fragrances. This is the Guerlain Aqua Allegoria in Mandarin Basilic. It's just a beautiful, fresh fragrance. I love citrus personally, so this, you know, coupled with basil, <laughs> two of my favorite things. Uh, but I actually love all of the Al Aqua Allegorias and I have quite a collection of those now, but I really love those. They're nice and light. They're not going to last all day. They are a very light fragrance, um, but I personally love those and I just find them very, you know, fun. So you've just got like some nice light scents and if you want to change your scent later in the day, it fades enough that you can do that. So I think that's great. I also included the Guerlain scalp serum and i i'm gonna pick up another bottle of this but as i mentioned i do have psoriasis and i found that this serum you know it's expensive so i don't use it as much as i should but when i first started testing it i was using it frequently and it actually replaced my need for using any medication on my scalp and you know i actually use medication very sparingly anyway but if i were to use this regularly i might not need to use it at all so i'm gonna pick up another bottle but it definitely helps anytime I start to feel like a flare up is coming, I use this and most of the times I can keep it at bay. Habit Skin, this is something on my wish list. I'm not sure if I'll pick this up or wait till spring because it is coming into winter, but this is a sunscreen mist. So I think this is just a great way to add sunscreen on top of makeup. So I wanna try it, but it's on my wish list. I've not tried it yet. Hourglass, I also wanna try the Glossy Balms. I haven't tried those yet, but I did just pick up the uh, waterproof gel eyeliners and I do really like those. So, uh, you know, I think those are great. I will have a review on those soon, but I do have a reel on Instagram and TikTok. Definitely follow me there if you aren't already. Also love the Scattered Light eyeshadows, so I might pick up a couple more of those. Vivid is my favorite out of the ones I have. And I also really like the curator eyeshadows. I know, they're controversial. Uh, they uh, have a terrible packaging. They should be magnetic, they're not, but they are a really great actual product. So I, I do really like those. And from Ilya, we have the lip balm. I like those. They're not my favorite, but I like them. And the balmy glosses, I love those. So this is one of my most used. This one here is, I think this one's maybe violet. Yes. So this one's maybe violet and let's just put that here. Look at that beautiful shade. I have most of these now, but not all of them. I'm probably going to get the rest of them though during the sale because it's just such a nice lip balm and, or well, lip gloss. So I really like these. Only You is my other favorite. I've gone through an entire full tube of that. And with my lip collection, that says something. <laughs> so only you and maybe Violet are the two I reach for the most so far. And I'm gonna have to pick up more shades. If you're interested in the Ilia Multi Sticks, they do have a face palette, which I think is a good deal to try them all out. I have that, I like it. I think the Multi Sticks are a nice product, but they don't have the longevity to last all day for me. So if that's something that you're looking for, you know, that's probably not the best product in my opinion, but this is a great way to try out different shades and things like that as well. So I really like the actual palette and the sticks in general. Moving on to K18, these are some items from my haul. I would definitely recommend if you're interested in the K18 hair mask, get the duo, the little limited editions that they have right now where you get the mask and you get a small trial size of their detox shampoo. The detox shampoo is their clarifying shampoo that you use once a week. 
and you know I've tried it so far I think it's okay it's not my favorite I actually prefer the Olaplex clarifying shampoo but I think it's nice and if you're going to buy the hair mask anyway it's the same price to get the set as to purchase the hair mask on its own so it's a no-brainer there however I have also been using the peptide prep pH maintenance shampoo from K18 and that one I love so that is one that you can use daily and you know I have a hard time with shampoos either being you know feeling like they're not doing that much work or they strip my hair and this is kind of a nice balance it's gentle enough that I can use it every day and it works well enough that I don't have to use it every day so I think it's a really great balance I also have on here the Killian Love Don't Be Shy Icon Set, and it's not my favorite fragrance personally. It is my daughter's favorite. They ask to put this on every time they look at my perfumes, but I wanted to highlight the Icon Set because you get a full size, plus you get this little travel size. These are refillable, so you can actually pull out the little vial and replace it with whatever fragrance scent that you like from Killian or another brand that fits in there but I think it's a really great set. I have this icon set in a couple of their scents and I really like it. Laura Mercier, I have been wanting to try the lip gloss, so I might pick one of those up to try. I also have been wanting to try their blush color infusions in the regular line. I have tried their, uh, what is it, the Rose Glow version, which I, I liked. I think it was a nice formula, so I think that's definitely something worth picking up. And then the uh, Tinted Moisturizer Blush from Laura Mercier. I have the shade Promenade. I think this is a really nice product and I'm interested in trying more. I'm trying, I'll probably pick up this duo set. They have a duo that makes it a much better deal. And I forget what the two shades were in there, but they are both shades that I was interested in trying. You can see Promenade here is going to be a bit warmer than it looks like online. It's really more of a warm pink, with peach in it. So it's gonna be a warm, rosy peach. Lila B, they are closing down. So if you are interested in any Lila B products, definitely check them out now uh, before they are no longer in existence. So Lila B is shutting down. I personally like their lip oils. I think they're a really nice formula. Makeup by Mario, I have tried a few things from their line, well, quite a few things from their line. And the standouts for me are going to be the blushes. So here's one of the blushes. You can see you've got a removable brush down at the bottom, makes it easy for cleaning. And then on the top, you have your cream blush stick. This one here is the shade Raspberry, which you can see is a bright pink, but th these last all day. They are a really nice formula. They're a little dewier than, for example, like the Clay de Peau cream blushes, but these are up there in my favorite cream blushes. Their powder blushes are a nice compliment. You can layer them for extra longevity if you want. They're a really nice basic powder br uh, blush, and this is the shade Poppy Pink. And the last item I really strongly recommend for Makeup by Mario is the highlighter in Opal. Now, I love this. All of the highlighters though look very gold except for Opal which is more of that sparkling white with a very faint touch of white gold. So I think it's a really beautiful formula and it has kind of that creamy gel type hybrid texture to it. So really beautiful. Moving on to Melt, we have the Melt Cream Blush Lights. I personally like the ones without shimmer so Pink Sand and Honey Thief are my favorites. Moving on to Merit, we have the cream blushes those are some nice cream blushes as well i still prefer the makeup by mario but you you know these are really nice i really like them they're comparable to ritual defeat i think they're very similar to those and they have a really nice trio set right now for the holidays so i think that set is a great bargain i also really like their lipsticks as a matter of fact i have all but two shades i believe so i think their lipsticks are really nice please note though they do have castor oil in them and i know not everybody uh, finds that that works with their lips ph also picked up the nars this is the mini afterglow lip shine duo and i haven't tried it yet but i Add it to here because I do think that it seems like a good value, great way to try those out. Moving on to Natasha Denona, she does usually have a really good deal for Black Friday on her website, and so you might wanna hold off on there, but the products I'd recommend, you know, I love her eyeshadows, 
So the glam eyeshadow palette, the retro, the mini retro, the pastel mini, oh, by the way, have you guys seen the new palette that's coming? It's the retro glam. So it's been leaked. So, you know, you're not going to see it like publicly posted everywhere, but I'll see if I can find a picture to put in here. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to get that when that comes out. So that that's what I would recommend from Natasha Denona. I personally don't love her lip products, so I'd pass on those. Necessaire, I've been just starting to try this brand out. I tried out the body serum. I'm somebody who hates putting on body lotion um, before getting dressed for the day, like at night, fine. But during the daytime, I like never do it. The body serum has kind of changed my routine because it's so lightweight, it gets absorbed, yet I feel like I'm getting moisture that I should be putting on with body lotion. So I really like that. I'm gonna get a new bottle of that. I'd like to try their deodorant because I've heard high things, high reviews about that. And I just started trying the scalp serum. They were kind enough to send me that. They also sent me the shampoo and conditioner, but I have not tried those yet. Uh, I really like the scalp serum though so far. So uh, it's not oily or greasy in my hair. It's actually not currently available on Sephora. They have it listed. So I'm not sure when that's going to pop up, but I do like the scalp serum and I've been using their neck serum on and off since the summer. It's just a really nice lightweight lotion serum. Uh, so I do like to put that one on. Nest New York, they, I like their uh, Wild Poppy fragrance that I got as a sample. So I'm interested in trying that out, but I might look in this mini fragrance discovery set instead. I think that might be a great way to try out all of the scents. And for $40, it seems like a good price. As I mentioned, the Olaplex Clarifying Shampoo, I really like this one. It seems to get everything out of my hair without being overly drying. And yeah, so that one I really like. I have a full bottle already, but I would definitely pick that one up. So that's on my recommendations. Orbe, I just recently picked up some things. Again, they're in my haul video, but the dry texturizing spray, I can say I like that so far. More details on that later. I haven't used it enough yet. The Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray, I like that too. That seems to perform well. The Imperial Blowout Transformative Styling Cream, I like it but I'm still trying to figure out how best to use it. It's kind of this moussey, creamy texture, and you know you have to be careful not to use too much. So it recommends kind of putting it on from the roots and moving down to the ends. And I feel like with my fine hair, you know, my hair, like this is freshly washed, but I put the cream in. You can see it kind of looks a little like stiff or greasy or something. Um, and I think again, that's just because of my fine hair with this particular product. So I gotta figure out a better amount to use up here, maybe start down a little further. But what I love about it is it seems to give a little bit of hold to the hair. So it holds curl, it helps my hair hold curl a little bit more, helps prevent the flyaways. So I really like that aspect of it. So uh, yeah, so far so good. The Way Leave-In Conditioner, I use this on my daughter's hair all the time, every day. We have to brush through with this. They have thick hair and it, very long hair that gets tangled and knotted pretty uh, painfully. So this is what we use on all of the tough knots. So I would definitely recommend that. Pat McGrath, her sale is much better. So buy from her site if you can. But you know, these are some of the products I really like from her. Obviously her mothership, Subliminal is my favorite. Uh, I have the Mega, which I have just started playing with. I really like her Mega from this year. I think it's nice how you've got, you know, just a range of color stories. I like her blushes, so those are great. If you haven't tried her blushes yet, I think her little Divine Blush and Glow Face Palette is a great way to start because you can try like a highlighter and blushes, you know, different formulas and so forth uh, at a less expensive price. So I think that's a great way to start. I still love her Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder. I think it's a great one. I use the shade Light and I don't use it all the time, but when I do, I, I always remind it of how much I like it. And I love her lip pencils. They are in my rotation daily. I, those in the Givenchy, those are my go-to lip pencil formulas and Chanel. But for the pinky nudes, I always reach for the Pat McGrath or the Givenchy. Chanel doesn't have a great shade uh, in that particular, like, in the cooler tones there. So I like that. For her lip balms, I like the Dark Romance shade in particular because it's a little different and unique. 
And lipsticks, I don't love her lipsticks. However, I love her Divina Lip Shines. I just don't love her packaging on any of these things because they do get a little gummy over time. It gets a little harder to twist up. Her concealer is also a really great concealer. And her eye pencils are nice. Highlighter and Lunar Allure is a favorite. Uh, the Interstellar Icon Eyeshadow Quad is one of my favorites. So I don't want to like spend too much time on those, but I do think, you know, shopping her site is better. I picked up two more motherships on her 30% off deal that's going on right now. So definitely check, check out her site. Moving on, we have Ranavat uh, Botanics. And I was looking to see, I don't have it here anymore, but her Hydrating Mist, I the Jasmine Mist, I really like that. I use that a lot. I'll use that even just for makeup application if I wanna wet my brush instead of using plain water or a mixing medium. So I think it's a really nice refreshing mist as well. And I have the hair serum on my wish list. So I don't know if I'll pick that up right now or not. Her stuff seems to just fly off the shelves every time there's a sale though. So just a heads up on that if you're interested in anything from her. Everything has great reviews, but I've only tried the face mist so far. Okay, so RMS, you already know I love their blushes. I think their blushes are great. I have not done a video yet with the eyelights, but I did pick these up, a couple of these. This one here is Blaze. Let's find a clear space here. These are the best like liquid cream eyeshadows that I have used. I love the formula. They are thin enough that it makes them really easy to spread out. They last, they dry, they set, they have a beautiful finish. They're just really easy to use. So. I would definitely recommend the eye lights. And by the way, they do come with one of those little metal, I had it sitting right here, but the, you know, the little metal like crimpy thing that you put on the end of the tube. So when it starts to get, what, after you've used like half of it, you can put that on to, to keep moving your product closer to your tube, like for toothpaste and so forth. Rose ink, the blushes, I love the rose ink blushes. I think they're a really nice formula. They kind of remind me a little bit of a drier version of the Shiseido Air Whip blushes that they used to have. And I have purchased one of her lipsticks, tried it out just the other day actually, and really like the formula. So I might pick up more shades of that. She actually has this mini satin lipstick set. So I am looking at that, but I have to see if my shade is the lightest shade in there or not. Uh, but that's definitely something I'd recommend. For Say, I'm using this today. This is one of the best concealers. It's the Hydra Beam Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. Really love this one, and I think it's a great formula, a great price too, so definitely check that one out if you're interested. Every year, Sephora has great sets for the holidays. This is their Sephora Favorites Hair Hydration Set. I featured this in my haul. And you've got a full size of the Amica, the Cure Mask, and you've got like, you know, these aren't little just like tiny sizes of everything. I mean, like this is the way leave-in conditioner I use on the kids. That's a smaller size, but it's still one and a half ounces. You've got the Olaplex number three, but you can see that these things, you know, it's not just a little sample packet, right? So that is a great deal. So it's, what is it, $39 for the set? the value is over a hundred dollars. And then if you get 20% off of the 39, I mean, it's such a great deal. Other sets that I don't have, but I think look good are the makeup must have set, the holiday lip set, which again, you've got some full sizes in there. The sparkly clean makeup set. I might pick that one up. I have to go through and see. I think I probably already have the Ilia lip gloss and maybe that rose ink shade. So if I have both of those, I'm not gonna pick it up, but. The Sephora Favorites Luxe Set, I always get these. They're like $25, you get to try a whole bunch of little things. I give these out to friends at the holidays. I think they are great little way to try things out. So um, those are definitely things that I kind of add on to presents. <laughs> so I think those are great. Sephora also has two mascara sets, which are great because they come with a full size voucher. So you get all these little travel size minis, which I personally love to use those because you know, you can, finish them up before you introduce too much bacteria. And then you have a voucher for a full size of one of the mascaras in the set. So I think those are really great values. I actually bought the clean set uh, during the summer. I really liked that. So I think that was a, it's a really good set to purchase. 
Shiseido. I feel like the makeup on Shiseido on Sephora isn't that fresh, so I don't buy any makeup from there anymore. I don't know what's going on. But their facial cotton is always a great buy. I typically use like microfiber cloths and things because I try to use more reusable products um, for things I do daily. However, if I'm traveling, I do tend to take things like this with me. So their facial cottons are really nice. And we also have the Ultimate Sun Protector Set from Shiseido. So this is their sunscreen. I do feel like these things are up to date. I have been purchasing sunscreen from Shiseido through Sephora and my dates have been good. So, um, you know, this is already on sale. So then to get it additionally on sale, it's such a bargain. So I would recommend that. There's also the Urban Environmental Daily SPF Ritual Set. I have an older version of this set, really like that. Super Goop. If you're interested in their sunscreens, they have a nice starter kit, which might be a good option. During the summer to add sunscreen, I have used their Refreshing Mist, their setting spray. Again, I don't love setting sprays. I will get a little crispiness in the hair if I use too much of it, but this, is, this was a really great way to reapply SPF over my makeup. So I really like that, would recommend that. The Play Everyday Lotion in the big pump bottle, I keep this on my countertop all year. We go through several bottles a year, but this is so everybody remembers to put sunscreen on before going outside. And moving on to Tom Ford. On my eyes, I have the new Violet Satin A Creme Eyeshadow Quad. We have the Velour Khakis in there as well, the Rose Topaz. I really like these. I think the new creme formula is fantastic, so I would definitely recommend them. We also have the new highlighting duos, and I have to say that, oh, that's the eyeshadow, but the highlighting duos, I have three of them, and this one's my favorite. This one's Peach Light, and I use the lighter shade all the time. I have the lighter shade on today, but I do like both the light and the deep shade in this palette, so overall, you know, I also have Nude Light and Moonlight. They're all great but Peach Light is the one that I keep reaching for. And I will have a video on those soon with swatches and comparisons. Let me know of anything that you would like to see compared in there. And also we have the Shade and Illuminate palette. I just had that in a video. So take, you know, just from over the weekend, I think that's a nice product as well. I still love the Tom Ford lipstick. So I have not had any of my go bad since the reformulation. So hopefully, you know, that means they are better all around, but Sugar Glider is always a favorite. Now, Tom Ford also has an eye and mini lip set. This is the Tiger Eye Creme Eyeshadow Palette, along with two of the mini lipsticks. I think it's a really great deal if you're interested in Tiger Eye. And the Tom Ford Shane Illuminate Blush Duo, I think these are some of the best blushes. I really like them. They're blurring, they're a matte blush. You know, I put these up there, like these and the Gucci are really, both really great formulas. Which one do I prefer over them? It's really hard to say. I actually think it's the Tom Ford though. So, you know, I think it might edge it out just a little bit. Uh, just because I feel like they're a little bit more blendable than the Gucci. The Gucci takes a little extra effort. But the Tom Ford Soleil Eye and Cheek Duo from this summer, I really love that. It's going in my year, my, my 2022 favorites. And I would definitely recommend that while they still have it. The Tom Ford Gloss Luxe Lips, Lip Glosses, I have one of those on today on top of a lip pencil. This is the In the Buff, which is basically clear with some sparkle. Really like that. And the Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow and Platinum, always a classic. Their Ultra Shine Lip Color, nice formula. I do prefer their regular satins like Sugar Glider over these, but I think it's nice. I also like their Eye Defining Pen. The great thing about that is that you have two ends. So, and they are separate containers of product in there. So if you use one end and then you, you know, switch to the other and you're not, you know, it's not the same liquid. So maybe you want to do like three months with this side, three months with that side or something to prolong it. But you have a longer end and a shorter end here. So I think it's a really great eye pen. Uh, very versatile. I like the idea of having both ends on there. I am also always, I always want to pick up the Black Orchid perfume from Tom Ford. I haven't done it yet, but it always goes on my wish list. Of course, I have used samples for years now. I always love them. I collect the samples and just use those right now. But 
Abs yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna get it sometime. Tower 28, I think their lip glosses are nice. So they're, they have a duo set for the holiday. That's a good bargain. And you know, I think they're nice. They're not my favorite, but for the price point, I think they are worth getting, you know, to have something to throw in your bag. You don't have to worry so much if you lose it versus like, you know, I'd be crying if I lost one of the Tom Ford lip glosses, which are significantly more expensive. And uh, there are clean mascaras on my wish list. I have heard really good things about that, but I haven't tried that one yet. And their blushes, their cream blushes, I think they're a great way to try out a variety of shades. So I don't love them the most for their formula because they only last a few hours before like fading significantly. Um, and they can be a little dewy. So you do need to reapply these or switch colors. I think that's sort of the intention though with their formula because they're, you know, more of that beachy feeling. And people that I've spoken to who like the beach, like for example, Just Glow Firefly lives on a beach. You know, they think nothing of, you know, touching up after a day in the sand. Whereas for me, that's a pain in the butt. So I think it's kind of a different mindset. But I like it for trying different colors, um, you know, but if there was a shade that I really loved, I would try to find it in something more like the Clay de Poe cream blush. Valentino, this is the uh, um, eye to cheek, so you can use this on eyes or blush or whatever. This one here is shade number three. I really love this. I would like to pick up more, so that's on my wish list. I've also heard good things about their glitter primer, so I'm considering picking that up. And they have a mini lipstick trio. I have to see if I have any of those shades, but uh, you know, I might pick up that or I like how they also sell mini lipsticks separately because I don't typically go through an entire tube of lipstick. So it's great to be able to get the smaller sizes. Now the Valentino lipsticks in general, they've had, they came out with like a nude collection uh, at the beginning of the year. And I love those, still using them. You'll see some of them in my favorites and they are fantastic. So like, what is it? Number one, one, two, three R. That is like my favorite shade. So I would highly recommend that. Virtue six in one styler. This is something that I'm gonna pick up and try. It's just another, you know, hair cream. And then Valespa has a 12 day advent calendar. I always think this is like a great gift, great way to try out different fragrances. But I'm also interested in their mini spring candle set because those fragrances sound more enticing to me. So, uh, you know, those are things I'm considering. Westman Atelier, we have the squeaky and the squeaky and cheeky duo lip and cheek holiday gift set. Great way to try out the products. I think their uh, lip glosses are nice and they're not anything special per se, but I think they're nice. I do really like the cheek products. So the blushes, the contour sticks, uh, even the lit up stick I, I like, um, but you know, I think those are great. The foundation stick is great. I don't love the new liquid face tint, uh, but I do really like the petal edition lip and complexion holiday set because this is the lit up stick that I like the most. It's pink and it, it works the best on my complexion. So do really like that one. My favorite product from Westman Atelier though is probably their Vital Press skincare powder. I have pink bubble and creme. I love and use both of those. And then I also absolutely love the super loaded tinted highlighters. Those are probably my next favorite. It's like a creamy pigmented highlighter. So their brushes, I did include ones I have on here that I like. However, would I recommend their brushes? Yes. If you are looking for a luxury synthetic brush, they are very great. However, you can find dupes pretty much through various Infude brushes, by the way, you know, with various brands. Refer even has a couple of the of similar eyeshadow brushes. Um, Koyoto has similar like blending brushes. So it's, you can find cheaper options with the same level of quality. However, their brush collection set, you do save like $100 purchasing as a set. And then if you get that 20% off, you know, that brings up your, your savings a little bit more. So if you are interested in purchasing her brushes, that might be a good way to go. Or I listed the ones that I personally love individually there. YSL. Their new bold high pigment lipsticks are really nice. I also like the Rouge Volupte Shine Bombs. 
Those are really nice lipsticks. Um, they do have like a fruity scent, but they have some great sets. The Lip Icon set, the Lip Vaults, those are really great. I also think the new Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint is a nice cream cheek product, and they've got a duo that makes it a really good deal. Now my favorite YSL product now is that taupe eyeshadow they came out with for the holiday. It's not at Sephora. But I do hope this was helpful. I'll leave a link to the list and the guide down below in the description box and everything there. So definitely check that out and I will see you very soon. So please let me know things that you would add to the list. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me and thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.